SAC fans, and welcome to the SAC Daily Dose for Monday, March 18th, 2019. I'm Christian Stryker, and here's your Daily Dose. So we're going to get started uh, with some congratulations that are in order as the Queens men's and women's swimming teams took home their fifth consecutive NCAA Division II national titles over the weekend. They beat the field on both sides by nearly 300 points. So although swimming isn't a SAC sport, it, Queens is one of our SAC institutions, and congratulations to the members of the Queens men's and women's swimming team on another outstanding uh, season and another great national championship. Five in a row is uh, not something to, uh, to take lightly. That's uh, outstanding. Uh, we're going to stay with Queens as we give congratulations over to the men's basketball team as they're advancing to the NCAA Southeast Region Finals. Uh, those are going to take place on Tuesday at Queens against Augusta at 7 p.m. The Royals defeated Catawba last night 96-93 to uh, behind a career night from Daniel Carr, who scored 33 points and had five rebounds, uh, knocking the, the Catawba Indians from the tournament as Catawba was the number three seed, Queens the number one seed. So congratulations to Queens. Also congratulations to Catawba and Lenore Ryan's men's basketball teams on outstanding seasons as Lenore Ryan, their season came to an end on Saturday at the uh, quarterfinals of the Southeast Regional. Um, and then Catawba losing last night in the semifinals to Queens. Both outstanding seasons. We look forward to the future of men's basketball in the sack for sure. Uh, in some award news, uh, today we announced the uh, South Atlantic Conference indoor male, men's and women's track athletes of the uh, track and field athletes of the year. Uh, so first for uh, the women, the uh, women's indoor track and field athlete of the year from Wingate was junior uh, senior jumper Venetia Wilshire. A uh, Wilshire had an outstanding season. She claimed silver medal at the 2019 indoor. Uh, national championship in the high jump with a leap of 1.74 meters. Her second consecutive runner-up performance at the meet and the third overall for her. Uh, a six-time All-American, she was uh, named the USTF CCCA Southeast Region Indoor Field Athlete of the Year for the third time this season. She was also named the SAC Women's Field Athlete of the Meet at the conference championship after she won the high jump with a 1.62 meter jump, the triple jump with a 12.02 meter jump, and she was third in the long jump. Uh, she won the uh, JDL Fast Track Early Bird, du early bird Duels with a, in the high jump in December with a leap of 1.75 meters, which was an indoor school record and indoor personal best for Wilshire. Uh, she was tied for fourth best in Division II all season in the high jump. So congratulations to Venetia on being the 2019 SAC Indoor Track and Field Athlete of the Year. <coughs> Uh, also from Wingate on the men's side, it was Wingate's Isaiah Kyle was named the 2019 SAC Indoor Men's Indoor Track and Field Athlete of the Year. Uh, Kyle had an outstanding season uh, as he won numerous titles, including the 2019 NCAA Division II Indoor National Championship uh, in the high jump. Uh, this is the first indoor track and field national championship at Wingate, and be he became just the second SAC student athlete to win a indoor national championship when he jumped 1 or excuse me, 2.18 meters uh, to win the men's high jump at the national championship. Uh, in addition to his national championship, he was the SAC men's high jump champion and was a 2019 USTF CCCA All-Region selection. Uh, he's a seven-time All-American. Uh, and in the high jump, and he posted the top high jump mark in the nation, clearing 2.20 meters this season. Uh, he did that back in December at the JDL Fast Track Early Bird Duels. Uh, he also finished 7th at the SAC Championships in the heptathlon and 10th in the triple jump. So congratulations to Isaiah Kyle uh, on being the 2019 SAC Men's Indoor Track and Field Athlete of the Year. And finally, <coughs> Lincoln Memorial has a new athletic director brian hutchinson has been named the athletic director at lincoln memorial university that was announced on friday uh, he steps into his new role at lincoln memorial after spending the better part of the past 15 years as director of athletics at division one moorhead state in moorhead kentucky uh, while at msu athletic department experienced no short of shortage of athletic success as they racked up 21 conference champions. Included in those appearances are the men's basketball program earning the NCAA tournament victories in 2009 and 2011, women's soccer advancing to the big dance three times, 2008, 2010, and 2013, 
and women's volleyball qualifying for the postseason in 2011 and 2013. Hutchinson is a two-time graduate of Moorhead State. He received a bachelor's degree in business administration in 1996 and later earned his master's degree in sports administration in 2001. Brian, welcome to the South Atlanta Conference. Uh, we all look forward to working with you here at the South Atlanta Conference office, and I'm sure as the rest of the ADs do within the conference. We are very excited to have you. That's going to bring us to our famous sports quote, and today I found one uh, that is anonymous. I don't know who said it, but I really liked it, and I felt it was something that's uh, stuck with uh, – it should stick with everybody, especially during tournament time here as we have uh, basketball tournaments uh, and such. Uh, when your legs give out, play with your heart. That's going to do it for us here today. Hope you enjoyed our show. Uh, make sure you uh, check out the links to the stories uh, that we talked about in the description below. Also, be sure to check out all of our teams in action this week as we have lots of great action. As I said, uh, Queens men's basketball taking on Augusta on Tuesday night in the region final uh, there, as well as lots of other great action coming your way this week. Uh, check out all those links on our website at thesack.com. Uh, give us a like and uh, share this video with your friends and family. And uh, be sure to uh, check us out next time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.